57. Good morning, 728. It's Miss Jones in the morning. It's Friday, March 9th. Our first guest is in the building. Cat Williams, a.k.a. Money Mike. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Why are you so calm this morning? And what should I be excited about? Here? I have no idea, but I expected a little bit more. I don't know. I thought, man, I don't know. Sorry not to have lived up to your expectations. Not at all. <laughs> I'm a little frosty this morning. A little, a little frosty? A little frosty. How's everything this morning? Everything is beautiful, sir. Thank now, you. Now you're in town. You're doing a couple of shows. Sold out. Yes. Radio City Music Hall. Indeed. Now what should the people expect from Cat Williams tonight if they come out and check you out? Oh, man. If you're coming out to check me out and you don't know what to expect, then just sit back and see what happens then. It's going to be like that. Like that. Explosions. It's Radio City Music Hall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that doesn't happen. He's going to at least shoot two or three bullets. At least two, three of them? <laughs> a good hot two or three. At <laughs> least. Like, pat, 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 pat. Yeah, I might reload, too. I might reload. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Now, let's start off from uh, MTV show, Wild and Out, sir. That kind of um, brought the people to really see who uh, Cat Williams is. Now, talk about that, how you got That's a part of that with, uh, with Nick Cannon and how it was working with Nick Cannon. And Does he really get that many bitches? Uh, he gets more than that. Really? Yeah. I think he's close to retiring now. He's he's in a real good place right now. But uh, yeah, he's been he's been working hard at it. I've known him since he was fourteen. So, you know, he's young and he's black and he's rich. And when he called me uh, to help him out with something, I was more than happy to do it, and it ended up working out mm -hmm. as good for me as it did for him. Now, y'all still gonna be filming more episodes of Wildin' Out? Are you still gonna be involved? Cat ain't messing with that no more. Cat's on to his next project. He's bigger than that now. Hey, Cat's like, come on, man. <laughs> Quack's me about like, wild and out, B. I'm doing other things. That's, uh, it. that's no, Nick Cat. Cannon's show. No, you're bigger than that right now. Not that it's a bad thing. No, I'm not. You might I'm stop not. by like once in a while. <laughs> you know But what? I, you be damned Who you if been every about? week you're going to be taping wilding out. Nick hey, Cannon's show. Okay, so what? That you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything. Oh, I wish you was wrong right now. Um, uh, but, you know, we don't know. This is the fourth season, you know, so three seasons yeah. is good. I did the first one because, you know. Unless you're knocking off Christine Million every week, you are not showing up like that, son. And then the second the second year, just wanted to make sure it was, you know, still right. And then the third year was just, you know. Then Christine sure Million wasn't, wasn't there. Wasn't you, there. Don't, you don't want to wear out your welcome, you know. It's like me. You don't want to do that. Here. This bitch is still not here. <laughs> still again. Still again. And, and yet again, still not here. <laughs> you don't see the Norbert movie, bitch? It's supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm reading the newspaper. <laughs> Ask him all the rest of my questions. <laughs> Somehow he's got the right answers. Now, what's next for uh, Cat Williams? Will you have your own show? Because there is a void for it. It appears that way. Yes. It appears there is a void for it. Uh, you know, it's got to be the right show. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it in Hollywood, you'd be so happy to be hot. Finally, after years and years and years, you jump on the first thing, but, you know. Has ABC thing might, offered you anything? Who? ABC? No, not ABC. NBC did. Really? But, yeah. Really? Nice, nice, I think, nice. I think it was for some white guy, and they just wanted me to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it didn't feel like anything I should be doing. So, right. Uh, we got a good relationship with HBO. We just shot... Um, Pimp Chronicles Part 2, the HBO special. We just, oh, man. just did Part 2 in uh, Chicago, so that's hot. And, uh, you know, finally getting an album date after 800 years. Okay, yeah, so, let's talk about the so album. That's Universal, that's you signed Universal with Dipset. Yes. How did that come about? Uh, it, it was it was just good fortune for me. Mm -hmm. I, I'd already had the album done, and I, I knew it was only two places I could take it. I took it to the first place and uh, met with them and then the very second person I met with was uh, Cam and uh, everything felt right now so. will you be jumping into the beef with, with them with them well you already did a diss song with Rockefeller because they called you a fake ass pimp well the Young Guns called you a fake ass pimp and you did a diss record at them but will you be jumping into the Curtis and the, the rest of the beef well I'm, I'm, I'm a grown man and I'm a father so you know all my beefs have to be directly with your baby mom me. now of course I have to you know I have to back the side that my team is backing, but I'm, I'm not rushing into stuff like that. That It really has nothing to do with me, and I'm out of my league, to be quite honest with you, with the people they beefing with. So, you know, I'm going to stay in my place, but, you know. We're talking to Cat name, Williams. I'll come back. Money Mike is here. When we come back, we'll talk about the Stun Gun incident. We'll talk about the BET Awards. We'll also discuss why the hell did Young Guns call you a fake-ass pimp? I never understood that. Who? Okay. Exactly. exactly. 7.33, more with Miss Jones when we come back, y'all. <laughs> 97. It's 7.40. It's Friday, March 9th. It's going to be a high of 34 degrees this morning. Sunny all day long, they say. Cat Williams is here. 
I can't wait for it to get to 34. You can't, you can't wait. Is that cold outside now? Man, it's chilly. He's here. He's going to be in town. Radio City Music Hall Friday night and Saturday doing a couple of shows. I believe it's sold out, but I'm sure there's some scalpers out there. If you've never seen Cat Williams, go get your tickets now. Right. Thank you, sir. Never seen him do his damn thing. Go over there. Buy three tickets, four tickets. Bring your side bitch, the main bitch. Bring them all. Bring them all. Bring them all. This cat will school you on how to treat these bitches. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What a wonderful endorsement. Well, since we're talking about the bitches, how should a man treat main bitch and side bitch? Yeah, break it down, Ken. Let them know how it's should. Well, I think you just answered it. The same way you treat anything that's main and anything way you treat anything that's side. Because if the side was qualified to be main, it would be. Mm. Exactly. And so you, you, you don't want to make the mistake of accidentally treating your main bitch like the side one because that's not the role you put her in. So And you also don't want to make the side one think that on the side she managed to do enough work to be the main one. Because that, you know, All right. quality is important. I'm talking right now. Yeah. Hat, William, the comedian, I, I want to uh, apologize because I have fallen in love. I'm falling in love with my side bitch right now. And I it happens. I, I, yeah, exactly. Because there's less pressure on her. I know. You know, what we hold the main one to is not the same pressure. <laughs> the side one gets to come and just no. split in on, on rose petals and yes. twinkle toe up to you. And, you know, she got the right word because you're only talking to her three, four times a day, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? She got six good texts to say something nice to you, and she can do that. The main one got to have, you know, daily conversations. I love this whore. I love her. Talk about main chicks and side chicks if you're just tuning in. Cat Williams, Money Mike is here. Now, what about the stripper aspect? A lot of, a lot of, uh, like Michael Sean, he almost fell in love with a stripper the other night. Right. And we're trying to stop that because he's not just tipping the stripper. He's starting to caress the stripper and hold the stripper and love the stripper. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, the thing is, that would be a terrible violation a while back. But uh, strippers have really stepped their game up. <laughs> And there there are still the opportunities to meet those strippers who aren't jaded yet, that just got in the business because they were under financial duress and really have some things going on with their life and trying to make some ends meet. And it's very hard to meet a woman that's on her hustle grind that hard and, and not uh, and not have your heart be a bit touched by that. Because, you know, you really understand yeah. the grind every day. Hey, that sounds up. good. Hold you up. can love a stripper. I love and it. professionally, she ignores dudes. That's what she does professionally. Right. So just the fact that she's not ignoring you has got to be special, right? Yeah, of course. I love this It's going to be 34 in New York today. Let's yeah, see a little yeah, easy. Yes. I love this whore in a cold. <laughs> 34 degrees. I love this whore. I give her a coat. I love her. All right, Michael Short. Now, um, Cat Williams is here. Now, what happened with, in Michigan? There was a stun gun incident. You had some stun guns on you or something? I didn't. I just, you know. There, there are times when we have to carry cash, so I made sure my assistant had uh, had some stun guns so she wasn't carrying pistols. We we checked the pistols in. The pistols were fine. They had no problem with the guns. It was it was the stun guns were illegal in Michigan. How many guns do you have? Oh, did you huh? have that oh. uh, that particular moment? Yeah. Three. <laughs> three. But, but that's not bad. But it was four of us. That's not, oh. It was four of them. No, no, four three. Of us. Somebody like, was lacking. You know, we don't. We're not out there like that just for the sake of saying, you know, we carrying. That's that's not the purpose of it. It in the last year, sixteen celebrities, R and B singers, athletes, what have you, rappers, have either had themselves got at or the people, you know, that they roll with. That's a lot of people mm -hmm. getting ganked all around the country. Mm -hmm. And you can't ignore that. And I certainly don't intend to ignore it. I have babies at the house waiting for daddy to come back home. So whatever exactly. has to happen, exactly. it's going to happen. But I'm making it home. So, you know, it is what it is. I agree. It is what it is. I agree. So what they trying to do, because there's two cases. One in L.A. they're saying it was a, a stolen gun and the other one was the, the handguns. Are they trying to really put you away? Is that what they're trying uh, to do? I, I wouldn't say that because that sounds like a conspiracy. The L.A. thing was really just a, a, a my bad situation. You know, it was a slip up and those happened. We had just left the range and we was flying out the next day and didn't check the bags right. You know, but that one, I, I got away from that case. Oh, that's so I, I was fortunate in L.A. Round of so applause, I, I, was that one. To, I was able to get Anything that Anything that has to do with stolen, I do not believe, has to do with cat ones. Okay. When they yeah, say it wasn't stolen, stolen. it had my name on it. Which, okay. you know, <laughs> for me to be carrying around a, a gun with my name on it would be a bit ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to leave you the evidence, you know. Correct. So it was exactly. one of them situations. That's what happened to me. We had a super squeezer. The super squeezer gun? No. He always playing with me during the summertime. That's a super soaker. Exactly. <laughs> that Williams is in that cat. A super soaker stun gun. Yeah, a super soaker. Any comedians ever stole any of your stuff before? Yeah, of course. Who? 
Well, I mean, I don't want to get into that. I mean, Cedric stole a big one, but, you know, I've forgiven him for that. <laughs> Said that. Said he. I don't think he did it on purpose. Wow, anybody else? Stole he it? did not do it on purpose, Cat. He might not have done it on purpose. He might have had writers. And maybe they oh, the writers got it. Yeah, the writers got a hold of it. I can't, you know. Now, the Norbit movie, which you're in, made $82 million so far up really to date. Good. How much is that does Cat Williams make? Uh, As he scratches his head. Probably 4%. 4%. Damn, you got to make me get into the math. Let's say 82 million. 10% is about like 820,000. Half is 400,000. No, wait. Eight, eight million. I can't figure it out. How much is that? Not four, enough. 4 million? Oh, but, but, but certainly, certainly I didn't deserve it. Like, I'm, I was very happy to be a part of that project. You know what I mean? Like, some, that's not a movie you make because they're giving you the hugest check. That's a movie you make because how many, how many times you going to see that many... Uh, uh, them black celebrities in the same movie. Right. You know, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Griffin, Marlon Wayans, Cuba Gooding Jr., Tandy Newton. I mean, Terry Crews. How, how, when are you going to get that again? Right. So, yeah. Well, Cat Williams is here. If you want to holler, 800 223 Now, we have this new record. You want to introduce it? What is it? I don't know. This is uh, Pimpin' Time. Oh, Pimpin' Time. Oh, when and then we coming back time. with Rep Time. Yeah, that's, off the, time. Yeah, that's um, off the mixtape. And when we come back, it's time to rep your set. You know how we do every morning, 800-223-9797. We're going to get Cat. We're going to get the part. He's he going to participate in I'm it. I'm participating. He's spitting like a hot 16 real quick. Is that what's happening? Yes, it is. <laughs> I doubt that. I was <laughs> <laughs> 34 in New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's strip, sad strip up here. <laughs> You ready, Cat? You ready, Cat? Let's go, Cat. One, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, three. Let's go. Hey, represent, represent. Pimpin. Represent, represent. Ohio. Represent, represent. Yes. Represent, represent. You probably woke up this morning feeling like a punk. And I woke up at the top of the trunk, looking at the trees in Central Park, wondering why my diamonds will never get dark. It's 34 degrees at hot 97. And here I am feeling just like heaven. To my left, we talking stripper talk. And how much we love her because the strippers walk. But anyway, I digress. Am I the best? Certainly not. But I'll tell you one thing. This is why I'm hot. Sorry. Ah. Tonight, Radio City Music Hall, Friday, Saturday, it's going to get cracking. You got any shout-outs, anything? I do. Let me give a shout-out to Hot Foxy Roxy. What's going on, ma'am? How you doing this morning? Is that a stripper? 34 degrees. Is that a stripper? No, that's actually the co-host of 106 in Park, but thanks for having me. Roxy! Up to to my dude, Hev. What's up, Hev? Wow. Are you in town? And uh, to the... The whole entire Dipset fam, affiliates, fans, and friends, and all the people coming to Radio City Music Hall, be safe today. It'll be 34 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Put something furry on. Ladies and gentlemen, Cat Williams. Yes, we'll knock sir. Roxy off from 106 and Park. He, he, he didn't. I think he did. 7.54. He didn't say that. I'm Michael so Strong said it. I'm so offended by that. But I think he's he's knocked it off I'm quite so a bit. offended and shame on you. <laughs> he's at least had, knocked had, off. Had I known video that, that two, small three and shout four. out. Well, let me also give a shout out to Halle Berry. Yeah. <laughs> Which he's knocked off. He's yeah. knocked off Halle Berry. Now I don't want to see some party, but you know what? You on the beach. Of my business. <laughs> I admire you, son. Go see 300 today. It's going to be a gangster movie. With all the gangsters, please go see 300. It'll give you something to live for.